March is Pharmacist Awareness Month, and this year the slogan is The Pharmacist is In. We're here to help you when you need our help. And I think the one thing that people should know about pharmacists is that we don't just have a, a large amount of training about the medications that you take when we go to university. We also have a good portion of our time is spent on learning about chronic diseases and how they're managed and different ways that you can you know, take care of yourself to help prevent from getting those conditions or once you have them, great ways to um, make some lifestyle changes that will help support the medications that you need to take and help them work better and help you live your best life longer. The Saskatchewan government and the Ministry of Health are starting to recognize the important role pharmacists play in the management of health care. With our new expanded role, we now have the ability to prescribe some medications um, for conditions that normally people could, you know, diagnose on their own, um, conditions that are self-limiting, so that means that they don't last for a very long time or they don't need lab tests or, or blood work to um, diagnose, and things that don't require a lot of follow-up. So these are things like cold sores or um, oral thrush in babies especially, or even adults, um, canker sores or ulcers in your mouth, um, things like diaper rash or insect bites, and minor acne. So we can prescribe for some conditions like that and often the, there's prescription medications that are a much better choice than the things that you can find over the counter and so now with a few questions that we can ask them and figure out if that's the best choice or if they do need to re be referred to a physician to be diagnosed with something that's more serious. They also provide a medication assessment program. So the medication assessment program is a new program that was put out by the Saskatchewan government. And basically what it is, is it's something that's available to anyone that's 65 years of age um, or older and somebody who's taking um, five or more chronic medications, so five or more things on a regular basis, or if you're on a blood thinner or if you're having serious side effects from your medications. And with an aging population, having a program like this is essential. I think this is one way that the government saw that pharmaceuticals had an ability to really help out in this area and be proactive in helping um, manage health and prevent things from progressing because people weren't taking their medications properly or they quit taking them because the side effects were um, something that wasn't tol tolerable by the patient. So they did recognize that early intervention can often solve problems and help prevent a lot of future costs down the road. The important thing to remember is that pharmacists are easily accessible and are always there to help you in any way they can. You can walk in and talk to a pharmacist almost every hour of the day now um, and, you know, speak to them immediately. You don't have to make an appointment to come in and see us for the most part. You, have, um, you can just walk in with a concern. Most of the time we can address it or help you find an easy solution to the problem. Or if we can't, we can always do some research, help you find the answer, or refer you to the place where you can get the answer for the problem that you're having. For Shaw TV and Swift Current, I'm Kayla Garrett.